Pete, I got to ask you about Susan Rice uh, referring to Bo Bergdahl as having served with honor and distinction. Um, Ralph Peters, Colonel Ralph Peters, says, "Congratulations, Susan Rice. Uh, you, by trying to sell him as an American hero, you've turned a deserter, already despised by soldiers in the know, into quite possibly the most hated individual soldier in the history of our military." Is Colonel Peters right in your view? Well, man, I can't, you can't underestimate the anger and the outrage that is percolating in the, in the military community right now about, about the treatment of this particular situation. I mean, for Susan Rice, it's Benghazi 2.0. It's, 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 it's once again, stick her out in front of television to tell everybody a giant lie that you, she couldn't truly and possibly believe. I mean, we knew, they knew in 2010 in the Pentagon that this guy was a deserter. The White House had to know that that was his intentions. They're trying to turn the page, frankly, on a VA scandal. They're also trying to get their foot in the door to emptying Guantanamo Bay, and they thought Bergdahl would be the reason to do it. I just They're so cynical, and I think above the law, that they think, well, we can just say these things and, and get away with it, ultimately with very few consequences. Uh, Susan Rice, they've, they've once again... Uh, ignited the beast here, and, and and this is not faux outrage. This is real outrage of an administration that would trade five of the most dangerous. John McCain called them a war cabinet for the Taliban, and he's right for a deserter who we're now lauding as a hero somehow, which no one's believing at this point. 